ZBrush at its core is an artist's tool. With powerful features like Paint Stop, you can create your concepts and illustrations directly in the program. Using a wide range of drawing and painting tools like pencils, inks, oils, and markers. These concepts, as well as any additional reference or orthographic images, can be loaded into ZBrush's image planes and adjusted to suit your needs. You can also adjust the level of transparency that you wish to work with as you sculpt, making it easier to see your reference. There are many ways to begin a sculpt inside of ZBrush. Base mesh creation with Z-Spheres allows you to treat the beginning stages in a traditional sculpting fashion, acting as a flexible armature to quickly block in the overall shapes of your design. This gives you, the artist, the freedom to move, rotate, scale, and adjust the core structure. In addition to Z-Spheres, you also have Sketch Spheres. With a wide range of different Z-Sketch brushes available, you can organically build up your forms of your design. No matter what your subject matter, these Sketch Spheres help you get closer to the overall form. Combining Z-Spheres with the Z-Sketch Spheres, you can pose, adjust, and prototype the range of motion in your work by rigging your Sketch Spheres with a click of a button to your original Z-Sphere armature. These different methods result in an ideal sculpting mesh. With DynaMesh, you can take your designs even further, exploring the shapes by pushing, pulling, stretching, and inflating your geometry with 3D sculpting brushes. DynaMesh will instantly retopologize your geometry providing you with evenly distributed and sculptable topology. Using masking brushes, you can paint a mask on your geometry to help protect certain areas from being affected by your sculpting brushes. The transpose line, which is unique to ZBrush, is a quick way to move, rotate, and scale the unmasked areas of your mesh. DynaMesh gives the artists complete freedom with their designs, always providing the most efficient geometry instantly. Sculpting brushes like Clay Buildup, Inflate, and the Move Brush make refining your work a natural and enjoyable experience. These brushes can be used to add and subtract from your geometry as DynaMesh prevents the stretching of the topology, giving you the ability to freely sculpt. The resolution slider can feed more geometry into DynaMesh, allowing for more detail in the early stages of your design. When combined with brushes like Damien Standard and many others, you can easily define your details within the form. Building up the form with the many, many brushes that come preloaded with ZBrush, all of which are fully customizable to virtually every degree. Repositioning and adjusting is easy with DynaMesh. You can also use primitive mesh insert brushes to cut away from your geometry, subtracting the volumes of your mesh without distorting any of the topology. Hiding parts of the mesh is easily done with the multiple selection brushes. These brushes work similarly to the masking brushes, but rather than protect parts of the sculpt, these brushes will temporarily hide areas of the model. This allows you to easily work in tight places or parts of the sculpt that are partially hidden and hard to reach. The new and powerful Z Remesher takes any mesh and retopologizes the surface. The Remesh Guide Brush, along with Z Remesher's many options, will give you all the tools you need to generate nearly perfect topology for organic deformations, while still holding the overall form and design. Z Remesher also handles hard surface and mechanical shapes very well. Maintaining the hard edges and analyzing the direction of the normals to provide you an ideal base mesh without sacrificing your sculpting needs. 
Polygroups are a unique feature to ZBrush. They provide the artist a way to organize different groups of polygons within the subtool. The polygroup menu has many options built into it in order to generate different types of polygroup selections. By simply painting a mask and using the polygroup menu options, you can give yourself a complete set of selections to control as you work on your sculpt, making it easy to hide areas of the mesh and isolate a specific zone. Mesh extractions are a way to create new subtools. From a generated mask, the extract feature will generate a new object with thickness and polygroups. These polygroups can be used to create additional edge loops and group loops. These geometry features allow for unique designs in your model and give you the ability to control every side of the design. Another unique way to create additional objects is with the topology brush. The topology brush is a powerful way to draw edges and vertices onto a visible surface. This geometry can be used to replace the geometry it sits on top of to form a new base mesh or generate a new subtool complete with polygroups and depth. Insert meshes and insert multi meshes can be used to place custom meshes on your visible subtools through the use of a brush. ZBrush comes complete with a wide range of multi purpose insert multi mesh brushes, and creating your own set of brushes with a click of a button can turn any former project into a library of reusable assets. Using the curve function, you can draw multiple instances of your mesh onto the surface, or create elements like straps, tubing, and wires. These hand-placed meshes can be split into separate subtools, allowing you to rename and reorganize your assets. ZBrush makes it easy to experiment with its huge library of 3D sculpting brushes, giving you the tools to work quickly in a production pipeline, while at the same time making it easy to create your own custom brushes with a wide range of settings. With subdivisions, you can create as much detail as you need. The freedom to sculpt between high and low geometry opens up the workflow to a huge range of options and features. And with the addition of HD geometry, you can go beyond even your highest subdivision levels. By changing your brush stroke type and alpha, you can hand place details created directly from photos, or create your own custom alphas and modify them directly in ZBrush. The surface noise features also gives you the tools to generate dynamic surface details across your sculpt. Dynamesh is also a powerful way to create new hard surface objects for your projects. With the polish and clay polish options in Dynamesh, you can maintain hard surfaces as you sculpt organically. The new functionality of groups built into Dynamesh will help you maintain the separate objects within your subtool. This way you can hide and mask different parts easily, while still working within the same mesh with the polish features maintaining those nice clean edges. Shadowbox is another unique way to build out additional meshes and subtools within your project. You can convert any subtool into a Shadowbox object. Transparency options in ZBrush help you see through any visible subtools, allowing you to paint masks on orthographic planes while still using your sculpt as reference. These masks intersect in 3D space, providing you with a new sculptable mesh in your subtool list. Combined with Dynamesh and Clay Polish, Hard surface elements are rapidly generated without sacrificing any of your creativity. ZBrush has many time-saving features built in, keeping the artist's freedom and speed in mind while at the same time allowing you to explore and combine different workflows together. Radial symmetry allows you to sculpt in many different places at the same time, creating designs that follow patterns, or using the different symmetry options to find patterns is made easy in ZBrush's transform options. Beyond selection, masking, and sculpting brushes, ZBrush also has many different kinds of clipping brushes. Clipping brushes can help you shape your sculpts in very accurate ways. In conjunction with Dynamesh and Clay Polish, you can create unique and interesting new designs with precision and speed. Building complex shapes can also be achieved using any one of ZBrush's many 3D primitive objects. Each primitive object comes complete with a unique initialize menu that helps you define every aspect of the mesh at a beginning level. Refining these ideas can be done with the many sculpting brushes provided in ZBrush, making sculpting on hard surface objects a painless experience, 
and allowing you to explore these ideas with a wide range of polish, pinching, creasing, and smoothing brushes. Transpose Master can then take your sculpt with many subtools and temporarily reduce it down to one tool, allowing you to pose your object together and breathe life into your sculpt. Combined with layers, you can continue working on your original sculpt between your pose and a symmetrical driven pipeline. These layers can be keyframed, like many things inside of ZBrush, into the animation timeline, allowing you to blend between poses across all of your subtools. Using high resolution photos and textures in ZBrush can help enhance your polypainting experience, building up a level of realism to your sculpt by projecting through your sculpting brushes and onto your sculpt itself. You can pull color information as well as depth from your image sources, and you can even manipulate your images directly within Spotlight. Masking can be used to help with your poly painting, and ZBrush gives you many different options when it comes to dynamically generating new masks based on your model's surface. Creating custom materials will also help you fully realize your designs. ZBrush also provides you the tools necessary to work in a production environment. Features like UV Master make it quick to unwrap your subtools and transfer your poly paint into texture information, exporting valuable things like normal maps, displacement maps, and diffuse textures. Decimation Master and GoZ help you work between different software packages, making it easy to bounce back and forth and take advantage of all your tools. Creating additional details like hair, spikes, grass, and foliage can be done quickly with fiber mesh. Using masks and polygroups to control where the fiber mesh is generated, selecting from a large library of presets inside ZBrush's lightbox, and fine tuning the final result with the many fiber mesh options. These can be saved and reused for later use and eventually generated into your subtool list. Rendered with BPR will reveal the final results of your fiber mesh. Lighting can be done in many ways within ZBrush. Using light caps, you are presented with a 2D preview window to build your lights. A robust system of lighting options and specularity settings help you work creatively and see your results in real time. Rendering with the best preview render options will allow you to fine-tune every aspect of your render, from the shadows, to the wax modifier, to the ambient occlusion. Light caps can also be generated with HDR imagery, sampling the different values within the image. The panoramic shots can also be used with your render, making your project come to life as it sits within an entire scene. ZBrush's floor grids also help push the realism with cast shadows and the many BPR filters allow you to fine tune every aspect of the render in real time without the need to re-render your shot. Each aspect of the render can be exported and used to further enhance your renders. ZBrush's mannequins are a unique way of exploring poses and compositions. Free posing and duplicating of the mannequin can quickly build an entire scene for you to explore, helping you tell a story. Presentation is everything, and ZBrush helps you show your work from every angle at its very best. Rendering out time-lapse footage, undo history, and turntable movies. Many options are available to customize every part of your movie renders, including the ability to render every frame with BPR and BPR filters.